All right, it is time for turn one of the road to Kokaidos. Kokaidos? I don't know. Something like that. So, Will has turned once again. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> so I forgot to mention on this. Uh, here, can I sh show mods? View active mods. So, um, the game that I'm playing right now has a mod where basically as soon as you take a province the all of the magic sites in that province are immediately visible to you and so um this can be funny when you have a magic site that has like a castle <laughs> as part of the effect of the magic site so um yeah there's just a free castle next to my cap sick we'll take it dude we'll take it um sorry that was a little off putting at first i was like what the fuck what is what is this thing doing here um basically game plan i am going to actually hold on my bad i'm going to recruit a bunch of boar warriors and then um basically just enough um units I can afford with the other amounts of resources I have. Um, that's basically going to be my recruitment. I am going to profit my guy. Um, I don't really see the point in recruiting the Epona Chieftain. I'm just going to throw all these guys in a big giant box anyways and then just have them run at the enemy. Um, at the enemy in Indies. So basically... I think I'm going to go for this one just to maximize my um, resources just a little bit. Um, unless this is like Barbarians, which it might be. If it is, I'll probably take one of these two. Or if this one's even light, um, I might take this province. The thing is, is I don't know. See, it's highlighted as red. So I wonder if the, the fort is already like breachable. Because if I have to waste time sitting on this fort in order to breach it, it's not worth it to me. I'll breach it later, so I'll probably just take the province, or uh, like leave one guy on it so I continue getting like partial income from it. And then I'll just like march on normally. Um, so yeah. I think that's my game plan. I'll move this guy out. Um, I'll... I'll go ahead and briefly look over the uh, nations really quickly um so the micrib is back that's me um yep and then uh there's a tng player uh tng has really good sum summonable sacreds and um their troops are fairly efficient um their sacred is also not that, that bad either um they have really crazy high damage output um, and they're relatively easy to mass. I say relatively. They're pretty expensive, but they hit really hard, and their base stats are actually insane. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Kalem, you know, this is the a this is the age of Kalem where they loved th Thunderstrike because they have really strong Eagle Kings. Um, Satis, good death and nature and astral magic. Although I think their astral, yeah, their astral magic is a little bit weaker. They're more death orientated with their sauromancers, um, <laughs> which can get up to death four pretty easily. Kind of insane. Um, and they're not even cap only. Uh, only these guys are. But yeah, pretty pretty insane nation. Um, their late game is decent. Their the only weak spot they really have is like their early game, but they can supplement that with other stuff. Um, uh, Kalasa, just naked monkeys and naked dudes, um, really good sacreds, but they're naked, and they have really good summonable sa sacreds that are armored that you have to look out for, definitely a blessed a bless nation for sure. Um, Ur, really good, um, mages, and terrible troop quality, um, they're just really beefy dudes that... That have terrible armor. That's basically what they are. And I don't even think they have helmets. Yeah, none of their unit. 
I don't think there's a single unit in their roster that has a helmet. This guy has a crown. This guy has a crown, but no helmets. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah. So there's that. There's a uh, there's a little Bulba player. So there's a Blood Nation in here. That's fun. Um, and then uh, Pelagia is by itself in the water. Uh, how many water provinces? Is Dude, there's just so many water provinces. One, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine. Nine water provinces? But, I mean, they can easily get onto land once they hit their, uh, like, construction research. Um, these guys are really fucking annoying to deal with. Um,. They 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 make for good super combatants. Well, I, I say super super combatants, more like thugs. But they're they're really good because they can basically harass you and then just go back in the ocean. You can't ever trap them. So they're really annoying to to de deal with, and they always always vulture people. So gotta look out for that. Um, and yeah, so that's basically. The, the uh, all the pretenders. Um, I think <laughs> this guy uh, he submitted his pretender after me, so I think this name might be uh, referring to me, but I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, that's turn one, and I'll see you next time.